Hello and welcome to a new video about my ball balancer. Last time we realized oof, I cannot read two. Uh, I cannot read out two uh, of the sensors with this other fruit library. Uh, so actually what, what I I expect this to work because I have not found an error in my code. So, I will print out now, I meanwhile found out what, what is the problem, yeah? because look at that, I will print out here now a uh, size of instance, the size of the instance of one of those objects in byte. Yeah? Size of and then we have this pointer and it's called laser. Now we should see how many how many bytes this has. And if you look closely, I will make now a build. And if you look closely how many how many bytes we have left. Uh, because there is memory restriction on the other in Uno. Uh, and you see. 2048 bytes maximum, maximum. And now let's have a look how how much size of instance is 430. 430 bytes, one instance. I have 2000, yeah? it should fit, right? But look at this, 1065 are anyway used. Yeah? This is because of, of course I could write here, uh, the Arduino is an is a Harvard type microcontroller. So we have separated memories for program and variables. If you write something like this, it's in the in the variable. Uh, so this is a character chain and this is a variable for the program. It will residue residue in the uh, in the variable data memory and yeah, not in the program memory if I'm using it like this with this F instance yeah so we have now here one two three four five six six bytes yeah so we should be at 1059 and here we should have six bytes more yeah? 1059 this is one possibility how you can reduce Here, yeah, once again, we have 1065 bytes already in use, with 1065 bytes already in use, yeah? and one instance of this, of this, hey, I'll scroll off, is 430, 430, this does not fit, this is simply, I'm running out of memory, I'm running out of memory. All right, so, like I said, I could use everywhere this F. I think it's done like that. Okay. Then actually, we should, we should be able, we should be able to reduce this. Because then this chain, this memory would be in program memory, okay. and not in the standard memory. Let's see if something has changed. I'm not even sure if this is changing. Yes, you see, 1073 bytes. So it's changing with these Fs here. Yeah? All right, this is one possibility, but hey, I mean, 430 bytes for one instance this is tremendous. This is a quarter of my availab available bytes just for one instance, just for one sensor. Yeah? So I've looked into things and I found another so i will not use this other fruit here yeah i will use an other library yeah and this library is just called uh where is it ah, it's already here vl include vl53 l0x and I will also include the wire, therefore I have also to include the wire library. 
and now we only have to, to change our program that this is working. Uh, all right, so here yeah, the only thing I have to do is delete this uh, because it's not the other fruit library, it's from Polulu, I think, or uh, something like this. Yeah? And here we will produce a new one. And what do we have to do here? We have to call init. And if we have an error, we say we delete, we delete this laser right again because we cannot and laser right shall be now. Uh, this could have done with the others as well, but this actually looks looks better. I will remove this F's again we again because in the end I want to end up in a situation that we don't have any prints out anyway. Okay, uh, error. If we are if we could initialize the sensor, we have to set the laser right. Set address. Right. Address right. Now we're setting the address. And now we will print out also uh, the, the, the size of this. Yeah. And here we have to do it a little bit different. If laser is a remove, this we don't need. Laser right. And here, uh, what is this? Read, read range single millimeters. And this shall be an unsigned in measurement. So I only have I only have to read and then the the, the uh, duration I will check again. Alright. And here this is a little bit different because here we have to do laser right. It's called timeout. Timeout occurred. Then we have this serial print line, no echo. Right, then it's written right, no echo, if there's no echo. Uh, but else, we will simply print out this stuff here. But not the M range mill millimeter measurement divided by 10. All right. Now this should work exactly as before, yeah? I hope, there's no error anymore. Now we changed to the other, to the other library for this. Yeah? And now I'm eager to know, look, the minimum memory is already much smaller. We have 35.7, right sensor, left, right sensor error. Ooh, yeah. Hmm. Right, so. Ah, so powerful. Yeah. 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 Ah, of course. I ain't got I have to start the, the wire connection. I have to start the bus manually. <laughs> this is done by the other library internally. And here, because first I suspected if I start the wire two times, you know, and then I realized mm, there is a, this should work now. Yeah? Now that we started the wire, hopefully it's here. Okay, 35, what was before? Verify. Measurement is the same. Duration 37 milliseconds, 41, a little bit faster. This is not it's reacting over. Yes, yes. All right. How much was the each? How much was one instance? 14 bytes. Look at it. 14 bytes only. Yeah. Now I can produce a second one. And I will do it exactly the same way. The only thing is, laser left. I should set now the addresses right and left. 
here we'll print it out as well. Now I should read both, hopefully, yeah? because now I'm not running into memory problem problems. Let's see, eight centimeters, right? Yes, it's right is changing, and left is also changing. But the duration is rather long, right? It always takes 37 milliseconds to read read one. I also looked into this and we are starting we are starting the uh, continuous. This I, I no longer need. Uh, I will say laser right start continuous. Then this thing is measuring continuously one after the other. And also here laser left start continuous and below here we don't say read single we say read range continuous millimeters and that's it that's it yeah. upload this and now we should see this coming much faster because the sensor is measuring on its own and I'm just asking so I'm not triggering a measurement, that measurement is always done in the background. I'm just requesting the current value. Duration 1 millisecond, 2 milliseconds. This looks different, right? To be fair, the continuous operation would also be able by at the other fruit library. Alright. Alright. So duration is, is now also low. Uh, I think this is looking pretty well. This is looking pretty well. Ooh, what is this? Three and two. Button up, button down. Up to now in the code. <laughs> looking better. Uh, what I want to know, what I want to know, if the addresses are correct. I will open again my I2, I2C monitor. So we should see the I2C scanner, right? Change this. And we're having 2720. All right, so this is everything is working. Everything is working. So actually, I can start to do I can continue to mount the hardware setup or do the mount. Right, right. This is wrong. Now everything's working. Good. Good. You see, it makes sense to compare a little bit the libraries out there and stuff. So I'm pretty satisfied now. Now I only have to put those two things here and there yeah? and then we should be able to see to see a proper measurement, hopefully. Yeah? And we're going into details. Yeah. For this time, thank you much for listening. Goodbye.